I'm cooking these flanken ribs inside the Instant Pot today, but you can also bake them in the oven. I do have another recipe on the channel that I made a really long time ago um, where I bake these in the oven for about 15 minutes. This one takes a little bit longer. It's about 20 minutes in the Instant Pot and then another 20 minutes natural release, but it's just a different cooking method. I really like this. They come out uh, a little bit more tender than the um, oven method, but nonetheless, still great. I do chop them up into little pieces. So this is a really great dish to serve to other people. Your kids will probably like it. Um, flanken ribs are amazing. They have a high fat to protein ratio. They're very, very tasty, very high fat, very delicious. Flanken short ribs, if you've never tried them before, it's also known as like the Korean short rib cut. You can get it at a lot of Korean butchers. It, they're just very tender, very fatty. This is what they serve at Korean restaurants and Korean barbecue, um, but of course, a lot of times at the Korean restaurants, at the Korean barbecue, they do add sugars and sauces and other stuff to that. So this version is a keto carnivore friendly version. I'm using liquid smoke and Redmond's hickory smoked real salt to come up with a smoky flavor. And I'm gonna pair that out with some coconut aminos for that sweet flavor, which is optional. Um, if you're doing a strict carnivore diet, you can omit that or you can substitute it with something like Worcestershire sauce. But I like that sweet and smoky kick that that combination of flavors comes with. So this is the brand that I'm using for the coconut aminos. Um, it's called Naked and Saucy. They do sell this at our local Costco, um, so do check around. I've also seen it at Whole Foods, so check around for it. They may also sell it on Amazon. If I do find it on Amazon, I will leave some links below. Even though it does give a sweet flavor, it's still very, very low carb. And if you don't want to use coconut aminos, um, maybe you find the sugar sweet flavor to be triggering, then you can always substitute for something like Worcestershire sauce. So it'll just be a, a more like beefy smoky flavor as opposed to a sweet and smoky flavor so it's up to you i'm only using one tablespoon of this for the entire dish which ends up being two grams of carbs in total let's get into cooking so the prep for this recipe is super simple all i did was i chopped up each of the flank and short ribs into individual mini pieces Every strip of short rib i was able to get about three pieces just based on the number of bones in the rib Then I just put all the short ribs into the Instant Pot. Then I added the smoked salt in there. And then I added the liquid smoke as well as the coconut aminos. Give that a good mixeroo with the tongs. And then for the braising liquid, I only added just a little bit of water. You can use beef broth, chicken broth, any sort of liquid, just enough to cover the bottom of the pot. And then I decided that I was gonna add some dehydrated onion and extra garlic powder for flavor. Both are optional, I just wanted some more flavor. If you are interested in detailed measurements, check out the blog post at justrealfood.com. Okay, so after the Instant Pot went off, I let the ribs natural release for about 20 to 30 minutes. So this is ready to serve. Smells really, really good. I can smell the smoky flavors from the liquid smoke and the Redmond's Real Salt all in my kitchen. Let's see what's underneath this lid. Oh, it smells really, really smoky and savory. And that hint of coconut amitos just gives it that little kick of sweetness, that smoky sweetness that I'm trying to go for. So I'm super excited to dig in. A lot of the fat has rendered off because of this way of cooking. Um, so we're just going to use a slotted spoon to strain out all of the ribs into a serving dish.
smells really good. I love Redmond smoked salt. Ever since we got it, I've literally been putting it on everything. I'm telling you guys, once you've tried the smoked salt, you will want to put it on everything. And these ribs, I really like cutting it up this way. I do have another recipe on how I just cook them in the oven. It's been a long time since I made that recipe, but that is another cooking method. But this is just nice for some variety, just a different way of cooking the same thing. And I like being able to chop them up into little pieces. If you've enjoyed this video today, then don't forget to check out our free masterclass on the four step formula to accelerate your weight loss results on carnivore, where you go over the four steps that you need to take to create your own custom carnivore strategy to lose weight. So that's figuring out your fat amount, your protein amount, your fat to protein intake, as well as the top levers of success and big mistakes that people make that keep them stuck with weight loss on carnivore. So if you're interested, I will leave registration links down in the description below. If you're on the carnivore diet and you watch our channel, we do have lots of other free resources, including a free kickstart guide on how to get started and lose fat on carnivore, as well as some free sample meal plans for you. So do check out the description link below for all of the things that I've mentioned. Okay, let's give this a taste. I am so excited. I'm so, so excited. I'm gonna go for a nice meaty piece right here. Give that a bite. Mmm. Oh my God. So good. It's super tender, obviously with the Instant Pot cooking method, but the best part is just that Redmond's Hickory Smoked Real Salt with the liquid smoke. It just elevates things to a next level. It is so, so good. The fatty profile of these short ribs just make it melt in your mouth. And then that smoky flavor kind of lingers in your mouth and it kind of goes up your nostrils. And it's just like smoky heaven. If you love the flavor of ribs, smoky ribs, then this is perfect for you. And the coconut aminos is not overpowering at all. It kind of just balances it out a little bit. It's barely even sweet. If you want it sweeter, you could add a little bit more. I think it gives great umami and just helps kind of balance out that smoked salt flavor. Again, you can substitute for Worcestershire sauce if you'd like, or you can just leave it out completely and just use smoke real salt with the liquid smoke. I'm gonna take another bite. It's so good. If you liked my video today, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below and let me know how you like to eat your flanken short ribs, whether you've tried them before and how you like to cook them best. Until next time.